coming today. I have the responsibility you've taken on. You need all your spare time, and I'm glad to have a few minutes of it. The role of vice chairman for our annual anniversary dinner dance is one not to be taken lightly. The success of this dinner is in your hands. You're to be commended for your commitment of time and resources for such a worthy cause. Although I must admit, being one of the dinner honorees, I'm a little biased. <laughs> that event has grown every year. And under the excellent leadership of Keith Brown, your dinner chairman, Russ Reynolds, 1988 promises to be one of the best ever. Nancy and I are looking forward to an exciting evening on February 2nd. Although I won't be a candidate myself next year, I told Frank Farenkoff I intend to campaign aggressively for our nominee. And, uh, <laughs> I, I hope you will too. <laughs> I don't know how many of you saw the big debate on the air last night. I saw, thought one side was totally demagogic. <laughs> The other side uh, looked like pretty nice people. <laughs> well, making this event is critical for the success of the Republican Party. We need to elect a Republican president to continue our policies and programs, and we can only do that if we have the, the necessary resources. So I really just wanted to say thanks for all you're doing and to keep up the good work. And now I'm going to go over here in front of the fireplace and push somebody aside and be able to thank each one of you uh, personally. Sue Tyler is also the coach of another national champion uh, in lacrosse. She's probably one of the few people ever that have had two national champions. Well, congratulations again. <laughs> These are our young ladies from the University of Maryland, champions, national champions. I know, NCAA champions. And that's, uh, congratulations to all of you. I think you, an important part of you arriving at that was beating somebody like North Carolina. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, I apologize for being late. We started the day this morning with a meeting with the Congress, and I found out that every time early in the day I meet with the Congress, I'm behind schedule for the rest of the day. Oh, dear. Well, well it's, a, it's a pleasure to have you here, and I know that I'm supposed to get someplace and have some pictures taken, and I'll have an opportunity to, to greet each of you, but I, I, uh, I just wanted to being an old-time athlete myself, I wanted to tell you a little story because of your game of hockey. And uh, concerns a man you might have heard of named Knut Rockne, who was one of the all-time great coaches of football at Notre Dame. And back in those days, the Carnegie Commission had been formed and started to find out if there wasn't something wrong with all the emphasis on athletics in our universities and colleges. And the other coaches appealed to Rockney to come and represent the game in football. This was what they were aiming at. And finally, Rockney, in appearing before them, asked one of the professors, well, the professor said, does it have to be such a violent sport? And uh, Rockney said, well, what would you suggest? 
And the professor said, well, hockey. <laughs> Rodney's answer was, he said, I know. He said, I once suggested that to the father that is the president of Notre Dame. And he told me that Notre Dame would never endorse a sport that put a stick in the hands of an Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, I think they don't like to shake your hand. I understand that's the, the drill from the bosses that be. Yes. Do I move or do they move? I go down the line. That's what I would come practice up again. We signed it. Well, thank you very much. We have a lot of seniors who might be able to use her next year. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you very much for having me. I'll ask her to show me a little of her. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. And this is uh, Mr. Perkins. It's a Maryland Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Oh, Pat. Oh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> 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 I got 
this would be good for the ranch. Nice and warm for the ranch. some things like that. <laughs> I can remember when the president used to go to the Army-Navy game and sit on one side of the field and walk off the field. Anymore, there's a little matter of security that says you can't do that. Well, yeah. <laughs> this guy's your turtle. <laughs> 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 the turtle out there. Yeah, the turtle out there. We can hide you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. It just told me I'm getting behind schedule. <laughs> well, listen, thank you all very much. It's impossible to bring that fellow Nancy and have a demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Richard. Thank you. It was great to have you all here. Good luck. This was, this is the, is, as you know, called the Roosevelt Room. And up there, if they haven't told you, that is Theodore Roosevelt's Nobel Prize that he won. That was given to him for settling the Japanese-Russian War. And sometimes when I have political groups in here, I enjoy telling them that he did it in a typical Republican style. He was sitting on a private yacht. Thank you. My mother, Jean Wayforth. Hello there. Nice to see you. My niece, Kitty Wayforth. Hello. My brother, Jeff Wayforth. Hello. My sister-in-law, Mary Wayforth. Hello there. My brother, Frank Wayforth. Hello. And my husband, Brett Dawson. <laughs> I think they'd like us all in a family group here in front of the fireplace. Let me get in the middle. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> ABC, I'll come here. Maybe we should, uh, Chef, one, one more person on this side. I'll let you decide how, who you want to go over there. Mm -hmm. A little kind of mix and match here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little mix and match. Look at the just a little bit this way. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Okay, great. Everybody's looking here. You can smile too, Ray. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. For everything. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you. I'll see you later in the other room. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Yes, hi, Jim. I wanted to see what are you doing this on your visit. This is my son. Can I step a little bit? Let's get the pictures here. Nice to see you. Hi. Jane, my Good wife. Good to see you again. Hello there. This is our little girl, Anne. Anne? Anne? Hello. Our shy little three. <laughs> She's been rehearsing when I saw you. It's, uh, <laughs> stage fright. Do you understand? No. Judge Kinsey. Judge Kim Starr. You remember with yeah, Bill Smith's uh, yeah. Chief of Staff? Yes. yes. My mother, Dot Burnley. How are they? Long-time Republican activist in the General Assembly in North Carolina. My dad, Jim Burnley, is a long-time Republican activist. And my uh, mother-in-law, Wanda Natty, and ex Natty. Uh, from Iowa, you can listen to you on the radio out there. I just had to report my games. <laughs> she played basketball. She used to have oh. to report her games to you. Yes, and I can tell you something. If she has told you about that in Iowa, in the state basketball, high school basketball tournaments, the 
girls' basketball always outdrew in attendance. Well, she was one of the players. Yeah, and sayings. I wanted to ask you one thing about the picture that used to hang over behind the old room. Do you, I wondered what became of that portrait of you. Uh, you it hung with the light over it? I don't know whatever's happened, but I'll tell you what I have up at the ranch. You know, moonlight doesn't exist anymore. I know that. No. Well, that little piece of board over the door that had burned in it, yes. moonlight in, Yes. that hangs <laughs> oh, over the moonlight in the oh, ranch. That, that, that <laughs> someone, it out there someone sent it to me. Well, that I used to go there and look up and see yeah. that. It went after it going on to California. <laughs> <laughs> Moonlight would be another story. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so more than one. Okay, good. Let's, uh, you want to get over here on the other side? We have you all gather around here. Isn't it Jim? Yeah, yeah. 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 Is this a, that's right. <laughs> okay, that was the direction. We get everybody looking right that? here. Well, uh, smile. They didn't really sort of reorganize. One more. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, pleasure. I understand you've been momentarily evicted while we're setting up. That's right. That's right. We're in here. The Oval Office there. The right. Jeff, Jim, and Jim. Jim, 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 She's been rehearsing uh, what to say to you about all the uh, discipline. Yeah. 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 That's that stage. Yeah. 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 We stay together. They were all going to be there. If we do that real quickly, yeah. just a full one, right. yeah. just a moment. Yeah. Okay. Pete, do I need to close the door? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good. You got him? Okay. Now, do you want the kid? Thank you very much. Well, I think we all go in, don't we? All right, sir. Please consider you, okay? Mommy has to be very quiet. Wait, do you have Landon? He's messing up your pretty dress. Okay, Mommy's going to carry Landon, all right?